let's see, I got enough battery power in the old camera here. Hello, everybody. Um, let's see, I got enough time to, on the SD card, to shoot a little quick video for you guys. Gentlemen, and uh, the 1% lady viewership I have out there, this is a Texas Star DX500. Um, I do believe it was through here not too long ago. The gentleman that sent this in says, uh, smoking, overdriven, question mark, replace the lamps. And then attached to that was another note. He thought he might've popped all the pills. I don't see any signs of imbalance in the transistors. But what I do see is an unraveled electrolytic capacitor. One of these is the positive pole and the other one's the negative pole. And then this is our two pieces of conductive material. And they have radically departed the, the cap, which tells me it's dried out at some point or another. It, uh, it has burned up. It's by Dismooge. On the, side, in the inside of the lid here. So. Um, that cap only explodes for a couple different reasons. One of which is it's got hooked up backwards, which I don't think is the case. Because then there'd be some other blown parts in here. The simplest way to test for backwards hooked up in this would be to just simply put it on diode check. Voltometer, and we got nothing. Power switch is on. That's fine. Now, what we are going to see is a short when we. It's just simply because of the way the circuit's wired. This thing has not been hooked up backwards. This protection diode that's here would radically show us a short. We're not seeing that. So, has not been hooked up backwards. If we key it up and it makes power, then we know for a fact that it hasn't been hooked up backwards and what has caused this cap to go bad is that the cap dried out and shorted out and let out its magic jizz. It happens. Not very often, but it does happen. The other thing that can cause that cap to radically depart the cabinet in a violent and vulgar fashion that it has decided to depart this universe um, is that we have bad capacitance on our positive lead and we have a little bit of AC voltage filter back into the positive circuit. There's a glass capacitor, that's right here. If that cap or this cap is removed and let's say this ferrite is removed and this ferrite's removed and it gets put in a really awkward position frequency-wise, it can let some RF leak back to the positive lead, and in turn it'll wipe out that electrolytic and send it smoking on to Jesus. But uh, I don't think that's the case. It's because our ferrites are here and the diodes are still in one piece. so. Um, he says he also wants to have the lamps replaced. Oh, this appears to be working. Okay, preamp is working. He says he wants to have all the lamps replaced, but this is the only one that's bad. So we'll get that fixed, no problem. Uh, let's take a quick lap around the around the old test bench platform here. We're on 12 volts at the moment, which is indicated here. 1000 watt slug and peak over here. Zoom in and show that to you guys. The middle one there's a 1000 on average, and of course the 5 watt slug and reverse, back to the bird 10,000. I mean load, we're gonna use a 2950. And then the 5 watt slug in reverse between the 2950 and of course the Texas Star 400, 500, pardon me. Okay, so, put the amp in the off position. Hello, one, two. Let's go down here, I'll show you guys drive. Hello, one, two. We'll come up here, 
show you the pass-through tune. Hit 1, 2, which is excellent. So let's come over here and quickly we'll establish what we're putting into it for a baseline dead key, which should be about a watt, which it is. Turn a 5 watt slug around. Turn on the power switch on the box. And with 1 watt going in, we have a 30 watt carrier. Almost no input reflex. Hello, one, two. Oh yeah, it's working fine. Hello. So we're getting 500, 400 watts out of it with. Hello, what do One, two, with our 20 watts worth of drive. So let's go down here. Yeah, let's crank our voltages up. Boom, 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 boom. Our 15 volts now. Hello, one, two. There's our 30 watts worth of drive at 15 volts. Hello, one, two. Wow. Hello, one, two. Seen around seven. Hello. Wow. Just pretty goddamn good. 30 watts of drive. Hello. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Which is awesome. This thing's really working well. Hello, one, two. Let's make sure our meter's working. Hello, one, two. Oh, yeah, it's pegging it in the corner. So I would probably lean to myself that you've just had a general capacitance failure. It's no big deal. Well, give me a couple minutes. I will scrape all the exploded capacitor guts out of here. And I will wash this out with some rubbing alcohol to help neutralize the uh, electrolytic schmoo that's now all over everything so we don't have corrosion 10 years from now. Um, I'll replace that filter cap and I think we'll be done. So give me a second. Easy peasy. Add a new electrolytic to it. Put a new light bulb in it. Light bulb's working. Um, let's go ahead let's run it through its paces one more time. Make sure everything's good to go. Good to go. All right. Power off on the amplifier. Hello, one, two, one, two. All right. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Let's go up here. Let's look at our input reflect. Hello, one, two, one, two. It's not too horribly bad. Not the greatest thing in the world, but not too horribly bad. Hello, one, two, one, two. So like we were just talking on the, on the phone, Let's check our dial a watt here. Hello. That seems to be working. Check our sideband here. Hello. Let's make sure our delay is working. That seems to all be working. And of course, preamp. All right, man. Well, you're all put back together. Easy peasy fix. I'm glad you didn't keep running it. And um, yeah, slap the tins on it. It's on its way back to you. Gentlemen, thanks for tuning in. Simple, easy repair right out to hop. Got a ton of stuff going on here, but uh, we're going to get back in the swing of things and we're going to see what we can get done. So, on that note, I appreciate every single one of you guys. And we're on to the next major headache. Thanks to Siglent XS, Bird, Coaxial Dynamics, Mechman. Thank you to my Patreons for making this possible for me every single day. And a big thanks to all of you guys for tuning in and following along. On that note, I'm out of here, gentlemen. I appreciate you. I'll see you. Click, click.